guys, so I'm back. Um, I am going to be redoing my hair today, just my roots. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be doing my roots. I thought I'd film it quickly because I haven't done that in a while. And you guys have been looking for red hair tutorials or red hair videos again. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I've cut quite a bit off. It used to be like, I don't know, maybe three inches longer. So yeah, I... Um, I'm gonna do my roots because you can see my natural hair colour is coming through. Um, but the ends have also faded to this kind of pinky colour. So I need to re-dye the actual colour for the lengths as well. I'm gonna be using magenta, like always, in the L'Oreal High Colour Highlights. So today, I'm gonna do my roots. I'm just gonna put it in a bowl, hair dye bowl, I've got my brush, I've got my gloves, I've got a few hair clips. Um, I'm also going to be using the 30 volume developer. This one's the ICANN One London. I just got the cheapest one off Amazon to be honest so I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, yeah I chose 30 volume because I don't want my scalp to die because it's been so dry during winter. Um, because 40 is a bit too strong but 20 isn't strong enough so 30 will do um so i'm just going to mix that together and then i'm going to put that on my roots i won't be talking through the video because i am going to be watching a podcast and i'm going to try and film the back of my head if i've got enough space on my memory card <laughs> um just to show you guys because i don't think i've really shown you that before in my videos um in the past so i will try to film the back of my hair for you which is what you've asked um so yeah, I'm just going to mix that together. I'll show you what it looks like after I've mixed it. Um, I'm going to use the full tube of this one. Uh, it's 1.2 ounces. So I'm just going to use the full tube into the pot. Um, and I'm going to use, I think it's 1 to 1 ratio of developer. Um, I might put a little bit more developer in just because I need to make the product stretch a bit more. And it seems to work like in the past, so I just eyeball it every single time and it always works, so not a professional. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna mix that together, I'll show you what it looks like and then I will get on to doing my roots. Recording. I don't know when it stopped recording. Whew. I've done the top. I'm about to do the bottom and I'll quickly do it just in case my camera just decides to turn off again.
So I um, went a bit extra and put too much on and I've gone way too high, I've gone way over my roots but I don't actually care so um, it's gone everywhere, it's proper itchy, I'm like shivering. Um, it's been on about 30 minutes, I know it's going to be bloody ages to put it on but my camera also kept playing up and then I had to stop and then blah blah blah. So I'm going to leave it on for another 10 minutes, maybe another 10, 15 because the back isn't really taking. And then I will go and wash it off and I will show you what it looks like afterwards. Um, and then I will most likely dye the rest of my hair tomorrow. But yeah. I hope you guys actually were able to see me doing the back of my head. I don't know what my camera has picked up so I'll have to see what I can salvage um, when I edit this. But um, yeah, this is how I do it really. This part of dyeing my hair really isn't like too strenuous. It's quite easy. I just watch a podcast or listen to a podcast and then slap it on. Um, I always section though because I hate, 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 hate it. Hate, 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 When you have dark and lighter, lighter points like throughout your hair. So as you can see, like I've sectioned the top really, really well. At the bottom, I kind of do them thicker um, and that's why it doesn't go as bright, but it's at the bottom, you know, like I don't really mind. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just going to be sitting here for another 10 minutes, probably get a packet of crisps. Um, and then I will wash it out. I might show you beforehand if I got time. I also got dye all over me. Not as messy as usual. But yeah, so um, that's how I do my roots. And I will be back to show you what it looks like in 10, 15 minutes. Okay? Okay. So I'm back. Um, just washed off my hair dye. This is what it looks like so far. So yeah, lifted really well. Um, it has stained my head. <laughs> but it always does that so not a problem. Not too bad. I'm going to dry it now and then I will show you what it looks like afterwards. Um, I'm not going to dry it too intensely because I am going to be dyeing it I think tomorrow again. As you know, I have to do it in like two dots, so I do my roots and then I do the rest of my hair. So this is what it looks like when I've just done my roots. Um, I will show you what the ends compared to the top looks like. So, can you see? I have some real, real pale bits which look almost white, like white slash pink. So that's what, okay, hold on. Can you see? So yeah, these bits look really pale compared to the top um yeah that's just how it fades so that's what it fades like so um i'm gonna dry it out and then i will show you what it looks like i'm just gonna quickly do it i'll probably stay on camera whilst i do it and then i will be right back <sighs> okay, so I have dried my hair. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. It's pretty even. Obviously the ends are still a completely different colour. But I will do that tomorrow. So for today, this is how you top up your roots. Um, They look quite good. I'll give you a close up as well. I'm happy with it. Um, that's all for today, but um, stay tuned for my next video because that one's going to be about doing the whole head, and that one's that one's going to be long. So I'm going to have some rest, and I'm going to get working tomorrow on my hair, and then I will be back with my finished hairdo. Um, if those of you who have red hair know how long it is to keep it up, but I think it is worth it. And my hair's getting healthier. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with some ideas, because I have had some ideas from you guys um, recently, and they're pretty good. Um, 
so I'm going to be doing some of those for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.